today we are playing with essential oils. We're making bug spray. Today we are treating our house plants. We have bugs. They're everywhere. You bring home a wonderful piece of fruit and suddenly you have gnats all over your plants or you have something else that you can't quite identify but when you move the soil there's these little things crawling around in there. We don't like that because it takes all those nutrients out of the plant. Your plant doesn't grow. It doesn't look good. You don't want anybody to see. Or some other silly thing. You spend a lot of time growing them and all of a sudden have them killed by some pest. But the last thing we want to do is we don't want to bring a bunch of chemicals into our home that can make us sick and all that business. We've heard enough about the things that happen to people when they've been exposed to too many chemicals. Don't need to go into that. So instead, we're going to make a pest spray from essential oils and dish soap. Real simple. I'm sure you've heard of it before. And there are many variations. This is one combination that I found a lot of success with. And I also use it for hitting around my doors and my windowsills and anywhere else that might have some creepy crawlies coming in. Now, what I decided I want to use is I want to use peppermint. And I'm trying not to show you the label too much on there. And the reason why is because peppermint is great for ants, spiders, aphids, and beetles, which I'm not really too worried about the beetles. Um, I'm also going to use some geranium, which is excellent for getting rid of pests like mosquitoes and flies and cockroaches, which I hope I don't have an issue with that around here. Um, ants, all kinds of other things. And I'm not going to list off all of the benefits or the pests that come with it. You can find that easily online. I'm also gonna use some rosemary, a little bit of tea tree, some frankincense, for a different reason. That's uh, to help the plant grow more quickly. Um, I'm gonna use some cinnamon, some clove, which almost all bugs are repelled by clove. We're gonna use some lemon, which helps with the shine and keeps the soap and other stuff to adhere to the leaves to kill any buggies some lavender, which is great for everything, and some lemongrass. Now, an interesting thing to know about lemongrass is that citronella comes from the leaves and the stems of the lemongrass plant. Whatever. Uh, that's about a 32-ounce bottle of some thing I had around the house, and I really didn't care about um, the bottle itself. I was more concerned with the sprayer and that it was empty. I took a little sandpaper to it and then hit it with some black paint just painted it on real quick and the reason why I did that is because we want to keep the essential oils out of the sunlight because it breaks down the structure the, the molecular structure and all that other business about it we don't have to go into that right now either so this has our water and our soap in it I'm gonna add some more water in a bit we're gonna add equal amounts of our essential oils. Now, since this, I'm using a lot of oils in this. I'm using quite a few oils. And generally, if I used about that many, oh, that seems about right, about that many, I would use about 20 drops of each oil in this 32 ounce bottle. But because I'm using this many, I'm going to do somewhere in between. I'm gonna say 10, but knowing me, I'm going to probably accidentally drop a few more in there. Here is a nice list of some of the essential oils that I happen to have on hand that would be qualifiers for what we're doing today. I already have a bottle of the mixture put together, so I'm not going to show that for you. I did that in another video and well, you're just not going to see it here. So I took just a spray bottle that was empty and because it does have essential oils in it and they are volatile and the sunlight does degrade them. Oh boy, I got a smudge on there. I didn't mean to do that. I have to fix that. Anyway, went ahead and painted it black after giving it a good sanding so that the paint sticks to the spray bottle and then cover it in the black paint to keep the sunlight out. Put the essential oils that I used on the back. We see we have cinnamon bark. It's very important that you're using cinnamon bark and not cinnamon leaf. 
the cinnamon bark is more potent and has additional properties to it that the cinnamon leaf does not. But do be careful if you have a heart condition, high blood pressure, anything like that, it may be a bit of an issue for you. So be sure to check before using this cinnamon bark or any other essential oils. All right, now that we have all that in here, we give it a good shake, shake her up real good. And then we're gonna go ahead and spray our plants. When you spray your plants, be sure to get the leaves on top, underneath, get the soil, but watch out for roots. It says invisible tape. It doesn't look very invisible to me.